Hello, my name is uh, Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm talking to you about a paper that we published recently on the uh, addressing whether there is an association between isotretinoin exposure and the risk of inflammatory bowel disease. There had been some anecdotal reports suggesting that there might be an association between the use of these um, retinoic acid based derivatives and a risk for inflammatory bowel disease. But really it is quite controversial and a potential association is very unclear. We took the opportunity to identify uh, over a thousand people who were living in Olmsted County in whom there had been some discussion in their uh, medical care of the use of these drugs. We then went through and identified those who actually received the drugs and those who did not. And then we went to the medical records to identify how many of these approximately thousand people had a diagnosis or a subsequent diagnosis of Crohn's disease or other inflammatory bowel diseases. And what we found was interesting. Not only was there no positive association, but there was actually less Crohn's disease in people who received these drugs than those who did not. What does this mean? Well, I think that this provides evidence to suggest that these drugs do not appear to be associated with a risk for inflammatory bowel disease. And that if this is seen, unfortunately, acne is a very common problem in young people. And also, unfortunately, inflammatory bowel disease can occur in young people. But it probably tells us that there is no causal association between these two events, the use of this drug for the treatment of acne and the development of Crohn's disease. I think it's reassuring for those uh, dermatologists in particular who use these drugs for the treatment of severe acne.